Welcome. In front of me is an iPad Pro and today I'll show you how to jailbreak this device. So starting off, we want to go into the Safari and navigate into tweakboxapp.com, as you can see right here. So typing it in tweakboxapp.com like so, enter, and then just select install now, tap on allow and close, and then go out and into the settings. And from here, you will see a new option that it has appeared right here, profile downloaded, tap on it and then install profile. So install and once more install, tap on done and you can leave again. And now you will have tweak box. So tap on it, let it load, tap on I accept and then go into apps and then tweak box apps, let it load again. And here scroll down all the way and you will see this uncover jailbreak right here. Tap on it, then install. There we go. And tap on install. And now if you quit, just tap on cancel now. Now once you quit, you will see that it's installing right here. So wait for it to actually install. And once it has, we will actually need to go back into the settings because we won't be able to launch the app right away. Okay, so now if I would try to launch, you'll see this message that it's untrusted. So let's go back into the settings. And in general, you will see profile and device management right here, where we just were. And you will see this thing. So tap on it and then tap on trust right here. And once more trust. And as you can see, it's changed to delete app. So now if we quit, we can go back to the app and then tap on it and now it will actually open. Now, before you jump onto pressing the jailbreak, make sure that you're in airplane mode. This will, otherwise I don't think it will work. At least from what I tried without the airplane mode, it just doesn't seem to work. So tap on the airplane mode and then tap on jailbreak. Now mind you, we will still do this probably several times. So now the device will respring. Now, as you've seen at this time, the device didn't jailbreak. Uh, so we're going to do it again. Now, if we unlock the device, let's make sure that we're still in airplane mode because sometimes it might actually leave the airplane. So go back to the app again and once more tap on jailbreak. Now, I already tried this previously a couple of times and uh, I had a moment where it actually got stuck on one out of 31 and uh, I just closed the app and reopened it, but that was like stuck on it for about five minutes. So we'll see if it actually moves. If not, we're going to do the same here. So yeah, let's just close the app and try again. Okay, so going back to the app, Let's make sure again that we're in airplane mode and jailbreak. Now keep in mind that however many times you might need to do this, uh, it seems to be random. Uh, previous time when I did it, it supposedly jailbroken the device and two tries. But still, uh, once the device reset it, it, there was no Cydia. So I kept 
re-jailbreaking it until it appeared, which appeared to be like three more times before it actually showed up. And it actually looks like this time it might jailbreak. Okay, so you see, jailbreak complete. Now, once we tap on OK, we'll see if it actually jailbroken the device or not. So if we go back, okay, there's no Cydia. So go back to the app once more, we jailbreak. So I'll right now just quit it. It's taking a little bit too long again. And let's go again at it. And as you can see again, it shows you that jailbreak complete. Tap on OK. It will respring again. Now let's see if we see Syria. So there it is. And as you can see, it worked. Now if I would open it, it's just a standard normal Syria. Right, I wasn't connected to net, so still in the airplane mode. As you can see, it's working just fine. So that is how you would jailbreak the device. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.